Hi everyone, so today I am going to be doing a Gemini reading, Will They Come Back for July 2019. This is going to be for Gemini Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus signs. If you would like to win a free reading with me, check out the description box below. The entering requirements have changed a little bit since um, last month, so definitely check that out down in the description box below, as well as if you're interested in booking a private paid reading information will be down below and also if you would like to check out my bracelets which I have made on Etsy well I made them at home and then I sell them on Etsy that is also going to be in the description box below a link to my Etsy shop they start from just three pounds with free international shipping and they are intention bracelets for different areas of your life and also there are zodiac ones on there as well and they are spiritually charged so Gemini Let's have a look. <laughs> These cards are just... I wonder what this card was, because it... Okay. Queen of Wands. It really... It, it just wanted to come out. So there's that Queen of Wands. We've got the Four of Cups. So here's someone that you're dealing with, that, especially with this Four of Cups card, that is... <laughs> was definitely very, very not receptive to your offer or not really perhaps wanting you back something along the lines of that they were very much so not really interested in let's say coming back or taking up on that offer so there it is perhaps they didn't want to commit they didn't want more they may have left you and then you may have sort of asked them hey what's going on and they may have just not been receptive or not communicated anything to you so there's that feeling of being a little bit standoffish and not accepting you know your offer or your cup of communication essentially so there's that because I do feel a lot of you want this person back and they just were not being receptive at all now I see in July that things are going to be moving forward because I see that Four of Cups as the past card and it's this energy which is essentially going to lead to this chariot energy. So I do feel this other person does think of you as this Queen of Wands. Why is that happening, you say? Well, well, I, I do feel like the full moon energies really do have an impact on this person and during the full moon they come alive. They really start to process what you mean to them and if they weren't interested before they are starting to awaken to it and the reason I see that is because they're starting to be more aware first of all and second of all the full moon energy is really working with their energy and they're awakening they're understanding themselves more which means that they're able to understand others more as well so it's it's two-sided not only are they growing and maturing but they're able to understand other people's maturity and growth as well and that's what I see with this Queen of Wands is that they are growing they are maturing and they also see you as this Queen of Wands energy so in many ways you're sort of mirroring each other at this point where not only are you being seen as someone that is very attractive and you know physically attractive but also intellectually very attractive and you're mature and you're growing and you know things are really happening and manifesting and you're nourishing yourself with all these amazing things they are also starting to do the same as well. So in many ways you're mirroring each other and that's what I'm seeing. And this could also be a twin flame connection as well because you do have the four there. And of course someone not really taking up the offer which is very common in twin flame connections. But this could also be a soulmate connection. But there it is with that queen of wands. The chariot here shows again some form of mirroring. Especially in this card, chariot is ruled by cancer. It is about forward movement and progression. Things moving forward in this connection. Things happening. So that is coming across very, very strongly in this particular spread where someone was not very receptive to you before. And here they are. Now things are moving in terms of them awakening them knowing how they feel about you so one just flew into my drawer which is the queen of swords the six of cups just fell on the floor so let me just grab that really quickly ah come on okay so six of cups fell on the floor soulmate energy but in general, it's it's known to be a spiritual energy. So again, it can be a twin flame or a soulmate connection, as I mentioned with that Four of Cups. This is now about them 
wanting things to move forward, wanting to communicate their truth to you, wanting to be honest with you about how they feel about you. This is them wanting to come back. There it is. There it is. Especially with that Six of Cups in the Chariot, you can't fault this. Um, Six of Cups is about having genuine feelings for you and they're going to awaken to this. The more they understand themselves, the more they're going to understand you, not the other way around. They can't understand you if they don't understand themselves. And so Six of Cups here is about genuine feelings, pursuing you. That's something I also see here as well, pursuing you, telling you how this person feels about you. Oh my God, you can't make this up. You can't make this up. I was just talking about the full moon. The moon card. Moon is also tied to Pisces, which is an emotional uh, emotional sign. It's, it's a water sign, right? So this is about them becoming much more emotionally aware. Aware of their feelings. Aware of what they want in life. This is about a cycle and a phase and phases closing out and new ones opening. And it came out with the Wheel of Fortune, which is also about cycles and phases. Things happening in divine timing spiritual connection so everything has to happen essentially in the right timing in connections like this and the moon here is showing that the cycle is going to be closing a new one will open out this person has a lot of growing and maturing to do which I see in July they will really be on top of and I do see that there is real potential for things to grow and manifest and for this person to really come back around because that's what I'm seeing the wheel is going to turn it's going to turn to abundance they are going to really want to come forward. That's what I'm seeing in divine timing. Cycles and phases, the moon has an impact on them as well and allows them to be much more open with themselves, emotionally so much more open. And by the time you've seen this video, you know, the full moon in Sagittarius will have happened. I'm, feeling, I'm filming this a little bit ahead of time, but you know, that full moon in Sagittarius, especially with the Queen of Wands, that Queen of Wands is Aries, Leo, Sagittarius energy. You know, that full moon is also going to awaken them. But I'm seeing in general, any full moon that happens on a monthly basis, of course, is really going to help to awaken them more and more and more. And it's going to, it's going to continue to happen. Wow. Gemini. Whew. And there's your energy as well with the Queen of Swords as well. You know, they want to be honest. They want to communicate things across to you. But also, this is also your energy. In Tarot, we get, <laughs> I get multiple messages. You know, we get multiple messages with one card. But I'm also seeing that they also believe that you're someone very clear, concise, honest, stable, and very loyal and trustworthy. So that's also how you come across to them. Ace of Swords, an epiphany, you know, a realisation, becoming more mature, wanting to communicate their feelings to you, communication, wanting to come back around. That's coming through very, very strongly. Whew, an epiphany. Wow, it's like this sudden realisation. Okay, Queen of Pentacles just fell on the floor. Let me just grab her. Come on. Okay. We've got three queens here. Now this shows that things are going to bounce back around and things have the potential in you, your guys' relationship. Again, you know, you have the choice to say yes or no to this person. You do have the choice. I'm just going to move the cards down a little bit. You have the choice in this particular situation as to what you want to say. I'm seeing specifically stability, security in this connection. <laughs> got three cards. Okay, that is our reading then. Stability, security. Oh my god, you can't make this up. You can't make this up. You got the Hierophant. Oh, I might as well just, you know, just do like a four card spread. <laughs> All the messages are, are so interlinked here. All right, so Queen of Pentacles indicates that in your connection, as you know, things progress, things happen in divine timing, this person comes back. The connection is going to be very stable, very secure. There's something growing for the long term. Things are manifesting for the long term as well with this Queen of Pentacles. So things are strong, stable. They're going to really... This person is going to mature, but your connection is also going to be really strong and mature as well between the two of you. So that is very, very positive with this particular, you know, Queen of Pentacles. They also envision you as the Queen of Pentacles, whether you're a male or female. They think that you bring a lot of growth and stability to areas of your life to other people as well and they really respect that and they're really going to grow in tune to that as well the four 
what did I say? Mirroring, right? Mirroring. And I even mentioned it with the chariot card. Here it is, the Four of Wands, the card of mirroring. It's also an angel card. It's the Twin Flame Soulmate card. So there's a spiritual connection between the two of you. Just know right now in this connection that you are protected. Four of Wands is about being protected. It is genuinely about you know, your angels, your guides protecting you with these four pillars. These four pillars also symbolize the long term. For those of you that want marriage, because of course not everybody wants marriage, but for those of you that want marriage and you want that, that's what this also indicates. For others of you that don't want marriage, it's, you know, it's about the long term. It's about stability. It's about a connection that lasts. It's about a strong physical attraction as well. One person red, one person blue. A, you know, a blue, and, a blue and red magnet, they really just attract. So it's that physical attraction that I'm seeing there as well. And a beautiful, beautiful, strong connection. Again, the two of you are very much so mirroring, your, uh, mirroring each other, yourselves. And that's what I'm seeing in this particular card. Some of you may be seeing repeating numbers on your clocks. It means that whatever path you're on in your life, you're supposed to be on that path. Don't worry, it's meant to happen supposed to be the way that it is and even if you feel like things are not quite how you want them to be in life always know that you're protected and things are happening for a specific reason and that specific reason here with the hermit is that this person needs time space to be able to understand themselves the more they understand themselves with this hermit energy the more they're going to be able to understand others and until they do that you know they are going to be sort of stuck in this four of cups energy so i'm seeing them awaken they're going to be taking more time and space for themselves to understand themselves to find the light they're going to then have an epiphany you know this virgo energy is about analyzing things finding your way finding your path and that is really going to allow them to come forward and I feel like the full moon energy is really tied into this there's going to be a new cycle you know a cycle that ends with the past and a new one that opens up that feels like a rejuvenation it feels like abundance is coming your way stability and security you know the hierophant is ruled by Taurus Taurus values stability and security and it's not just about the signs but specifically with the hierophant here it's about feeling like there's something for the long term as we mentioned here feeling like this person you know they, they want you, they will want to have more for the long term, they will value that strength and the stableness of a relationship and they will provide you with a lot of respect and they will have integrity and it will be much more mature in that sense. I just feel like before things just weren't right, it wasn't the right timing and they had a lot of learning growing to do and that's what's really going to happen and I do see in July things really coming together and there being this beautiful, beautiful energy where you just feel happy, radiant, giddy, joyful, you know, really good in the connection and there it is, outlined, there it is. So Gemini, this is genuinely such an incredible reading. All the cards are just absolutely interlinked with one another and it's just incredible to see. So this is your reading. If you liked it, don't forget to like this video. Don't forget to comment down below on how this reading resonates with your situation. Do not forget, everyone, that... What was I going to say? Mm, I was going to say something. That uh, you can subscribe to my channel. So if you'd like to subscribe to my channel, don't forget to leave a... Uh, comment down below if you would like to enter for the free reading giveaway and don't forget to check out the description box below for the information on the free reading giveaway the private paid readings and my bracelets which are on etsy and i'll see you all very very soon take care everyone bye